very own animated horror streaming service, Dark and Twisted TV, with exclusive animated horror series for members only, featuring my girlfriend wants to kill me, her blood on my hands, and coming soon, the never before seen, my girlfriend wants to kill me, the prequel which will show how David and Crazy Mary first met. Other fans have already signed up. Don't be left out or you'll never know how my girlfriend wants to kill me and her blood on my hands ends. Link in the description. Don't be left in the dark. Join today. trying to trick me with these bogus phone calls. <laughs> but it's not gonna work. At least, not this time, Peter. <laughs> Said Dante to his fellow park ranger and longtime friend. Peter was known for being a practical prankster and had played one too many pranks on Dante. I swear to God, it wasn't me this time. I'm getting the same calls, replied Peter, his eyes indicating seriousness. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, Joker, <laughs> said Dante with a snort, chuckling loudly. Then, all of a sudden, they heard screams bellowing so loud that they were shuttering the windows. What the hell was that, yelled Dante. In panic, then they heard gunshots. What the? said Peter as the door to their office flung open. Dante, Peter, you need to come quick. It's Mr. Douglas. He's dead. Something. I don't know what it was, but it killed him. Hurry, yelled Nancy in panic as they rushed to the scene. Guts and bone were scattered everywhere as a little old lady sat cuddling a bloody decapitated head. Oh my god, what happened? cried Dante to Mr. Douglas's wife Alma, but she was mute. What's wrong with her? asked Peter, staring into her unblinking eyes. She's in shock. She witnessed the entire thing, said Nancy. Who on earth did this, replied Dante. Not who, but what did this, said Nancy, correcting him. So wait, you mean this thing is real, said Dante, becoming slightly nauseous. Yeah, I saw it with my own eyes when it attacked Mr. Douglas. I tried to shoot it, but the bullets did nothing. This is serious, said Peter. 
Peter as their eyes darted back and forth at each other. We need to find this thing before it kills more people and close down the park. No camping until this is handled and we need to warn the other residents to stay in their cabins. I have a feeling this is going to be bad. This is going to be very bad, said Dante, narrowing his eyes at the decapitated head. Then, all of a sudden, they heard a loud siren wailing from behind them. And when they turned around to face the disturbance, their heartbeats quickened. of the 40-foot humanoid creature with blood dripping from its mouths. Its limbs were disproportionately long, thin, with bony, skeletal-looking hands that were also dripping blood from its fingertips. Its skin mummified and in the shade of rusted metal, and even though it had no shape, in the form of a head, its teeth were sharp and jagged, and as absurd as it may sound, it had no ears. Instead, there were speakers. What in the hell is that thing? cried Peter as it started moving toward them. Okay guys, on the count of three, fire your weapons. One, two, and... Three.